Hello and welcome friends to the SMS animation channel. Today we are going to create a modern table lamp in Blender. In this tutorial we are going to create a table lamp, modern table lamp modeling, uh, 3D modeling first of all and then we are going to apply the texturing on that model. So let's start to creating our modern table lamp. So first of all I am going to jump into the front view, then press shift A, mesh and I am going to create a cylinder over here. Let's open this one and I am going to apply this to the value of it. Okay, so now let's press uh, A and then G and Z and take it about to the bead. So now you can see that it's look nice and amazing. Now what I will do, I will just going to jump over here, add modifier, clear bevel and apply the three values over there, three segment and let's take a bevel value a little bit lower, something like okay this one is a little bit less smooth okay so it's look good now let's apply the shade smooth on this one and select the object shade smooth and jump onto the object property data and into the normals and apply the auto smooth also okay so now what we have to do and one more thing you can do into the modifier panel you can apply one more modifier so you will get the better option which is the weighted normal so it will good now enough to do okay now what i will do i will just going to select this uh, jump into the edit mode select this face over here and then what we have to do just jump into the front view and let's take okay what we can do yes we uh, let's place i to insert first of all and then place control to take it little bit above something like this one okay it's now is and enough good then again what we have to do just place i and then place control again and it's going um, uh, nice over here also then again what we have to do place i and insert something like this and press sorry control z press i and insert again and press control so it's going something like okay, over here now what we have to do just press 2 and alt over here and make it a scale little bit something like this one okay it's also nice and good enough then what we have to do we are just going to select d and press 1 and then g and z take a little bit above something like this one press 2 and select this loop and press g g and take a little bit above something like this one okay as so you can see that it's looking nice enough and you can see that it's going good now we can apply subdivision some modifier on this one also so let's close this one first of all and let's apply the subdivision surface modifier on this one so now you can see that it's looking really nice over here let's take the subdivision modifier above to the weighted normal if you want to increase this value you can increase but the one is enough for us so now it's looking nice and amazing over here now what you want to do if you want to apply a little bit let's increase the little bit bevel value if you want to increase something like this okay so you can see that you can you are getting some kind of smoothing smoother bevel over there it's look good enough now what we want to do we want to create some kind of uh, you uh, we can get uh, let's jump into the over here and place here we are going to hide that subdivision option over here and the bevel option over here into the editing mode let's apply, uh, select the three over here and let's make it g and z still taking a little bit up now okay it's going good enough now what i will do i will just select uh, this face and press shift d and then duplicate that and then e and separate the selection of this one okay now I'll jump into the edit mode select this option and jump into the edit mode again press a and then e and x2 and take it up to something like this okay, so you can see that it's going good over here let's hide the weighted normal also so it's looking a proper way over here now what i will do i will just select this and press i to insert over here something like this one and then e and x2 inside over here okay let's see how much uh, press one alt and z and then you can have g and z so you can take a little bit almost down over here okay so now it's look good and let's jump out over here so you can see that it's look amazing now i need a more subdivision surface over here so what i will select it and let me apply the little bit more subdivision surface over here 
on this one and you can see that okay and let me remove the bevel from over here if i'm going to lesser the bevel over here or let me delete this bevel over here okay so it will be good for us now press tape and apply the control r loop cut from over here and just apply okay then press ctrl b and take something like this one okay like this okay so it's going good enough just jump over here press 3 select this one and press i to insert almost like this okay it's also a good one and then ctrl r over here inside also and press ctrl b to give some kind of look at inside also okay so now you can see that we have a bulb holder where we have to put our bulb into this lamp and now you can apply something like so let's hide this one first of all select this jump into the edit mode again press 3 and select this and let's apply the eye over here a little bit also so now you can see that is properly settled on our bulb area over there now i want to create a, uh, a bulb option over here so what i will do i will just going to uh, jump into the edit mode press 3 and we can apply the control plus also okay and press shift and d okay then duplicate this and p and selection now just jump into the object mode select this okay then press tab and coming to the edit mode plus a and then e and extrude something like this over here almost like this one so now you can see that it's going good now we have to apply the loop cut so let me first of all hide this one let's select this tab and press ctrl r and apply the loop cut over here also i'm just going to apply the loop cut and then giving the bevel over here so now this one is ready now let's select this face over here okay just jump into the front view and then what we have to do just make it a e and extrude something like that almost over here and then let's make a little bit scale something like over here okay it's good enough and then what you do just press e and extrude again and let's make a scale something like more over here okay, then e and extrude again something like that and make a scale scale something like over here again and e and extrude again something like that one then E and extrude again something like this and make a scale down over here okay then E and extrude again and make a scale down something like over here okay then make E and extrude again like little bit and make a scale down something over here okay so now you can see that our bulb is almost ready over here so it's looking nice and enough to us we have just created kind of this bulb then press alt and edge so it will be revealed over here so almost our inner part of the uh, table uh, modern table lamp model is ready modern table lamp modern table lamp is ready now so now we have need just cover out over here so what i will do you can take this portion over here just come over here and press 3 and press alt so you can select something like this one and you can take it lesser also so what i will do over here i will just jump over here and select this uh, uh, let's hide this place edge let's select open over here jump into the edit mode and select this face over here okay and then press shift and s and i'm just going to make a cursor to select it over there then press jump into the object mode and shift and a press and just create a one more cylinder over here so i'm just going to create one more cylinder and this time i'm going to apply the six okay and i will not need something like this so i will apply the uh, nothing over here so it's open something like this one now what i will do i will just make a scale let's select this one and scale not z axis so shift in x i'm just going to scale something like that jump into the front view alt and z and then press g and z and take a little bit above something like this one then press scale and into the z axis i'm just going to make it a scale something like this one let's make a little bit more scale and then s and then press shift and z let's going good like this one okay and let's press g and z and take a little bit above then press S again and take a little bit something like this one. Okay, then come out from the Alt and Z value. <coughs> so now you can see that our lamp area is almost ready. You can connect it with something like that. 
with the line but it's not the visible area so i am not going to create that okay just one more thing we want to do we are just going to select this one and then uh, jump into the edit mode alt and e place and extrude faces along normals or we can it will be good alt and e extrude faces along normals you can apply the solidify also on this one so i am just going to make a very thinner area so i am just going to make little bit still thinner i don't need that much of thick area so okay 0 0.01 is good for us so now you can see that our bulb model is almost ready i want to apply some more things over here so what that exactly i am going to apply the look cut over here place control b and what i will do i will just make something like this one okay done over here and then i will uh, select both of them again face selection mode is on select this one and select this one and this press i and then again press i so it will going to be individual loop selection or let's make it undo first of all i am going to apply the i insert over here something like this one just remember the value we have applied over here so i am just going to apply the value is 0 5 something like this one okay and same thing i am just going to select over here and let's apply the i again over here okay and then again we have to apply the value over here so i am just going to select a 0 5 over here also so now just this one and press shift and all this one and then what we can do we can make it a scale down something inside over here okay and let's press tab so you have some kind of beautiful design over here so it will going good for us and now uh, let's see that our lamp is almost ready now we are going to apply the texturing on this one so guys let's start to create our texture about our modern uh, table lamp over here or modern side table lamp over here so first of all i'm going to make it hide and we need some kind of filament inside the bulb which can uh, create our light so what i will do i will just select this bulb, jump into the edit mode uh, you have to select this center mode then press shift and s and cursor to select it now jump over here tab and let's hide this one okay then press shift and a okay mesh and i'm just going to uh, create a cylinder over here so let's create a cylinder over here and let's make it something like uh, uh almost like a 16 over here okay good and then let's do the r and we have to rotate into the y 90 degree okay and then what we have to do we are just going to add modify and apply the subdivision surface on this one let's make it a little bit too over there tab and let's apply the loop cut on this one okay and then apply the control b something like this over here okay and then place a and make it a scale down but not in shift 10 okay but uh, uh, not in shift x and let's make it a small down over here almost like this and then let's make a small over here again s and shift x something smaller like this one let's jump into the object mode press alt and h and let's hide this on the outside over here okay so almost you can see that our filament is inside that one but let's select this again and s and shift x and let's make it a little bit like this and s and x it will be smaller like almost this only okay now so we have created everything now we have to start apply the texture over here so first of all what i will do i will just select this my bottom part or main body of this uh, lamp and what i will do just create over here let's dump over here and then here we are going to convert into the share editor over there and uh, let's create a new material over here and for this i am just going to apply the texture so what i will do i will just press shift and a search and i will use the image texture over here so let's choose the image texture over here let's connect this to the lamp over there and press okay and i'm just going to use this texture over here open okay and then what i will do i will just press the control t and let's jump convert into the this one so you can see the texture over there okay now it's looking good texture over here let's apply the generated texture over there not good one and let's try to object over here okay it's not so let's go with the uv and it's look good enough for the uv over here and it is look nice texture but one more thing you can do that is not properly distributed over here so for that what we will do we are just going to select this one and jump into the uv editor over here 
it's a good one now let's select this and everything hide over here and i'm just going to hide this one i'm going to hide this one let's select this jump into the edit mode and let's apply the texture over here let's select the a and what we are do, going to do we are just going to place uh, select some loops over here so press a selection selecting this loop over here then shift and all this loop then shift and all this loop over here and shift and all this loop over here and shift and all this loop over here and then shift and control shift something like this okay control z so now you can see that we have selected this loop to unwrap our object so first of all you have to press control e and apply the mark seam on this one okay now what you have to do you have to just press u and you have to make it unwrap over here so now you can see that we have our objects unwrapped over here now you can select the different objects and different part of this one and you can adjust them according to our requirement so first of all what we have to do we have to adjust our objects so let's select this one select alt uh, 3 and select all this face this face and this face you can see that over here and uh, let's make it move g and let's uh, sorry a and then let's make it g and take it out something over here uh, let's g and move something out over here okay now what we have to do we are just going to select this top wall of face and then g and uh, a and g out something over here okay then let's select this one and this one over here and then g sorry a and g and then take it out from over here something like this one okay now the remaining portion is this one so what we, we are going to do over here i am just going to select this one okay and shift and all this one and then let's control plus and control plus okay now you can see that now let's space a and uh we can use something like this one so now let's place the over here a and everything so we have selected everything over here okay there is one more part is leaving over here the below part also so let's select this first of all and place a and s let's make it a little bit smaller over here and g and let's take it output over here and then now press a and now we have to adjust everything over here so first of all what we have to do we have just two portions over here so which is going to be good over there so let's press uh, this one okay and then this one okay and then let's move g and let's take it above over here almost something like over here okay then just select this one and then press g and take it something down over here almost okay good enough then what you are going to do we are just going to select this and this and this over here and we have to place it in a proper way so let's move uh, make it a little bit scale down over here okay and okay over here there is a okay okay okay, okay. then again press this one this one and this one okay then press g and move something like over here almost okay it's looking good enough now what we have to do we can just apply something like this <coughs> or we can select this press u and we can unwrap also so it is going to be good enough so now what we have to do just press s and let's make it a scale down something like over here and then g and let's move it something over here kind of that thing okay now let's select this one and again press a and then g and let's move it over here and let's make it a little bit small down also over here and g and let's put it over there now let's play and see again so there is one thing remember and they are overlapping each other so what we have to do we have to just place it in a proper way so what we are going to do over here i'm just going to select this sorry and uh, going to select this one and shift and alt uh, control z shift and alt this one then control plus control plus okay then we have to just move it g and let's move it into this axis almost like this one okay and then press a again so now you can see that all okay uh control z and now again press g and let's take a little bit up something like over here okay now press a again yeah again so now you can see that okay control z 
okay now press g and take a little bit more above over here and then press a over here so now it's looking good over here now what we have to do we have to adjust this one also so now let's jump over here select this face and then make it a little bit square, smaller down then and g and take it something over here then press a again over here okay now we can select this again and make it a little bit bigger s and let's make it g almost like this one and then press a again so now you can see there are structure almost looking applied over here so now let's jump out from over here and now you can see that we have some kind of amazing texture and properly heighted and properly battered texture is not stretched anywhere from anyhow so this is looking good for me now let's jump into over here and let's make something uh, uh okay into the object mode over here and let's jump into the edit mode over here and what we are going to do we are just going to make some changes over there so let's select this edge press 2 select this edge and select this edge over here and let's make it a little bit smaller inside this one and now let's press tab so it's look good enough and what i will do just now jump into the editor again over here so it's looking proper over there and it is really nice one so now what we have to do we are just going to release alt and uh, jump into the shader editor again so now what we can do we can apply another options of our texture so this i'm just going to apply the shift d and copy over here and uh, then we are just going to bring uh, let's cancel this one and we have to connect it with the roughness over here so it should be like over here and let's select this and let's take it a little bit back over there and let's take it a little bit down over here so they are going to be good also for us okay nice enough and now what we do we are just going to connect it over here and let's open this is going to apply the roughness texture on this one so now it is a roughness texture and we have to convert it into the non-color over here then press shift and d and take it below again press shift and a search and apply normal map over here okay so i'm just going to use a normal map over here this is color to going to color and then you have to apply this to the vector and you have to take this to the normal over here so now you can see that let's make it a little bit zoom so you will get understand how it is going to be work okay let's cancel this here it is the uh, roughness okay now here you have to use the normal map and open and apply the normal map over here so now you can found the changes over there and let's make it to the non-color or you can leave it to the area and now if you can increase something like this you can get the detail in really nice way but we don't need that much of height you are making lesser you can get in some kind of flatty things so now you can good enough we can see the nice enough stone okay now what we will do we are just going to apply the displace but i don't want to apply the displacement on this one so i am just going to leave these three nodes only over here now what we want to do we want to apply one more thing so let's press alt and h over here and now let's hide this one okay for this on this one which is not going to be visible still we are going to apply a new material on this one and for that what i will do i will just increase the metallic shade on this one base color i'm just going to take a little bit lower and i will increase a little bit roughness over there so that's all we need to do that now on the glass over here so for this material we are trying to be just going to create a new material over here and what we are going to do we are just going to make it something like a transmission we have to add so we are just going to make the transmission value one over here and let's down the roughness little bit almost kind of 0.3 something like this one okay so for now what i will do i will just press the shift a and uh, just creating okay so guys now what i will do i will just press shift a just get, uh, click on the search and i will use the mix shader over here so let's take the mix shader over here let's apply this shader into the over here let's apply this to the surface over there and then what i will do i will just create a one transparent shader over here let's type the transparent shader so this is your transparent bsdf and what we have to do we have to just create this transparent bsdf over here and let's create one more and type it over here which is about the uh, light 
path over here and then you have to connect this shadow to the factor over here so now it is going to be applied over there now what we are going to do we are just going to uh, light up that area which is a filament inside this one so this portion is completed over here now what we have to do we are just going to use one more thing so let's apply that on one let's select this filament which we have created inside almost like this one let's hide this one and here it is a filament over here and now what we are going to just going to apply new material on this one and here what we are going to do we are just going to create an emission or directly what we have to do we are just going to convert this one into the emission wala portion so you can commit over here and you can generate this bsdf to the emission so let's select the emission wala portion over here strength is like this one and what we can do we can generate this strength to the something like a 2000 over here and let's place over here the alt edge almost like this one and let's jump into this area and let's move it into the render and ev i am just going to on the ambient occlusion screen reflections and reflection we are just going to uh, render this into the cycle so now you can see that it's reflecting over there let's make it a hide over here and you can see this the value is coming over there so now if you are going to select the filament again and let me make the down uh, values down something like a, a 500 so you can see that the values are getting changed and the diffraction uh, diffraction coming inside that it's not generating the shadow it's just passing the light in a proper way so it's really good enough for us now what we have to do we have to just apply the texture on another part of that so let's place the alt and edge and we have to apply the texture on this one so let's select this one and create a new material for this now what we are going to do we are just going to follow the another procedure so what i will do i place shift a okay, search and i'm going to apply the mix shader over here also again so let's apply the mix shader over here i'm just going to connect it something like this one let's connect this to the surface over here <coughs> and i'm just going to make it a fully metallic over there and let's make a roughness little bit lesser over here now what i will do i will just press shift and a search and i'm just going to create a ramp node over here so i'm creating a color ramp over here let's connect this color to the factor over there then shift a search and i'm going to create one more texture node over here so that is a gradient texture over here let's connect this gradient texture color to the factor over here and let's select this and press the control t so you have the mapping node over there and now you can generate this mapping node to uv node and what i am just going to stick with the generator not making change at this time now what i will do you have to change and you can see that this is something like over here and it is my linear options over here this is the gradient and if i'm going to make a change something like over here or I'm going to move something you can see that is looking like something moving something over here so if I'm going to move something like over here and taking something over here so it's getting changed so what I will do I will just make the rotation of this one so I'm just going to make the rotation for this <coughs> to the 90 degree over here almost like something okay so now you can see that it's getting changed something like this one so I'm just going to put something over here and you can see that if I'm going to increase and decrease these values are getting change over here so i'm going to add one more black over here let's choose this color and should be the black over here i'm just going to take it and i will just apply the black shade on this one also so let's choose this one and apply the black shade on this also and let's take something into the center and take it something like over here now select this and apply o value over here like uh, i'm just going to apply the 0.9 over here okay and let's make this shader to the constant over there so it's look like something this over here and uh, what i will do i will just select this not select this one also over here and select this value is the point one so it should be look like this you can see that we have two part divided into the two part over there now we have just applied the metallic shade over there so we need one more shader over here or what you can you can just make a duplicate from over here and then what we have to do you have to just remove the metallic from over here and you can apply directly on this one and let's make the roughness over here a little bit lesser and you can see the shade over coming over here okay it's looking good enough and now now what i will do i will just change something to the different shade 
okay not over here here we are going to change the differential let me make a little bit something like over here okay it looks something you can say uh, change something like a copperish or silverish color whatever you like you can make a little bit lesser down over there and now you can see that this shader is coming really nice and beautiful and for this what i will do i will just add a little bit of transmission inside over here so it will generate a light inside out it is a little bit transference and let make a little bit roughness inbuilt over there and let make a, okay it's looking good you can see that guys so our almost work is ready now what we are going to i'm just going to apply the advanced sampling over there uh, I, and i will just apply the denoising over here and let's make it something like optimistic over there and now what i will do i will just select this one jump into the edit mode just doing jump over here place three and select this shift ends cursor to select it over there now let's create a shift ends and uh, jump out the, uh, into the object mode press shift a mesh and i'm going to create a plane over here let's make a scale up almost something like this one and let's uh, jump into the edit mode press a and e and x or something like this one okay now let's apply the shader to this one also so you can apply any shade on this one so let's me create a new material over here and let me make something kind of metallic shade almost like this one half metallic i'm going to do there is no half metallic but uh, we are just play with the values almost like this one and i'm just going to choose little bit of uh almost like a black shade over there okay you can see that it's looking really nice and amazing i'm just going into the world property coming over here and let's make it something down over there and let's make this height so you can see that our bulb is almost ready over here now what you can do you can place something inside the room area or you can place some texture behind there or world so let me do one thing i'm just going to select this one and apply the in the world our environment texture so just jump into the shader editor and just jump into the world now let's open this image the background over there so i'm going to choose one hdri over here so you will see that it's coming something like this one over there and let's me apply the uh control t over there so i can make and rotate the background over here so let's rotate the background something place something like this one you can see that and let's make this a and then g and little bit down something like this into the parallel area or something like this one okay it's look good enough now what i will do you can just press uh, pre shift and a and you can create the camera over here so let's create the camera and what i can do now just press the control alt and zero to this one so this is just coming like to the camera now let's press g and let's make it a little bit zoom out something inside over here so now you can see that it's looking really amazing and let's make it a little bit zoom so you can understand how it is going to be look over there let's press the control and space bar and let's make it come out from over here so this is our render output guys i hope you like this tutorial you learn something amazing from this tutorial about the texturing about the modeling and we have just created amazing modern table lamp for uh, our uh, interior design or interior object like that one Uh, into the blender so just click on to the like button share with your friends and colleagues subscribe the channel and also click on to the bell icon so you will get the notification about the upcoming tutorials thank you very much stay safe and enjoy your day goodbye guys